when I was uh, working on my PhD and even in my master's program, interacting with folks at conferences around the country in the field, it was pretty apparent to me early on that a lot of folks really embraced statistics as part of their training in this field. And other folks kind of reluctantly accepted that a minimum level of proficiency would be necessary. But they really, you know, you had to kind of twist their arm and drag them through it. And they really resented the fact that it was happening. And uh, to me, I, I always just uh, found that to be so surprising and so counterintuitive because I would talk to these folks and I would say, well, what do you in in your degree program for. And at the PhD level, people say, well, I want to do science and publish this research and disseminate findings. I'm going to say, yeah, but how, how are you going to know what you found? And they're like, well, by the results. And I bet, no, but what do you mean exactly? Like you, every conclusion you make in your papers in our field, which is very quantitatively driven, every single claim that you make in your papers, every conclusion you draw from your entire body of work from the age of 28 to 78, is going to be based most likely on a statistical test. And if you are reluctant to embrace understanding that test, to me, that that's just a, a contradiction that I could never wrap my head around. The idea that you will literally base your entire life's work on these tests, but say, yeah, but I kind of don't like them and they're kind of not all that necessary and I'll just kind of do the bare minimum. Uh, I, I can never wrap my head around that. And that's why Early on, I decided, okay, if stats are part of the game, and I mean, like as a reviewer, I review papers for journals. If someone submits a paper and they make a claim in it that is not supported by the statistics, rejected, done. <laughs> like you, you literally can't. Uh, so for me, uh, I, I just uh, couldn't really reconcile that uh, discrepancy between every decision I make must be reinforced by statistical analysis, but also. I'm going to go about my whole career as if statistical analysis is kind of unnecessary, but I'm going through the motions anyway. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, early in my career, I had some of the same realizations that you described, uh, kind of indicating like, hey, there's a lot more to be learned here. And it would be extremely beneficial for me to go ahead and, and dive into that and figure it out sooner rather than later. And And that has definitely definitely been my experience. But uh, unfortunately, you kind of as you start doing that, uh, you definitely feel more competent, more proficient, more confident in the work that you're doing. But then you start to realize that it's a little bit like pulling the kind of loose string on the sweater. And the more that you pull, the more you're like, whoa, there's kind of a lot more here than I thought. 